Hey there, welcome back! Last time, we were in the middle of our practical exam when Class 1 arrived and decided to start a fight with us, at which point, they lost, because, of course they did, and then Sarah decided to make that our practical exam, and then we figured out where we're going for our next field study trip, which is the Nord Highlands, and I bring with me, Elisa, Emma, and Gaius, and I also gave Emma the heal quartz, because she needed it. I also bought a few things. Um, I modified my weapon, so I got a much stronger weapon, and modified Emma's weapon. So, yeah. We are doing good. Wait. Wait. You're on a severe lack of materials, or, uh, accessories. What does that do? Motivating a headband. CP recovery rate rises about. Ooh. Small silver chain, modeled after an hourglass. Ooh. Uh, what do we have here? Wait, prevents KO? Sure. And? Uh, prevents fate of all shaped arm. Da -da -da. Prevents death blows. Hmm. Hmm. Prevents confuse. I don't get confused that much, though. Uh, prevent seal. That'd be great. Uh, you need a proxy puppet. You need stuff. <laughs> you just need stuff. Uh, prevents faints. Uh, prevents death blows. Why not? You do not have a proxy puppet, but I don't want to get rid of either of these. So, we're good. <laughs> this is the best we can do. Wait. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Ah, uh, oops. Yes! Whoa, the door. Hey, I forgot Yusus was with me. Oh, Green! You ready to depart too, I see. Yeah, we were about to leave. Um... Hmm. Don't you still need to purchase your tickets? Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. It looks like we'll be traveling together as far as Heimdall this time. Very well. Let's stop dallying and buy them already. Oh, oh okay. Hi. Good morning, Class 7. I hear Group A is headed all the way to out to the North Highlands this month. You heard right. We'll need to change trains twice. First in Heimdall, then in Roar, right? Or Ruhr. Correct. From Ruhr, you'll need to transfer to a, f a freight line for the last leg of your journey. Regrettably, we can't handle that part of your trip here. Actually, it seems arrangements have already been made for that uh, segment. We should only need to buy tickets for as far as Ruhr. Ah, that won't be a problem then. Do you want them right now? Buy tickets. Certainly. Okay. That's five passengers bound for Ruhr. I'll have those tickets for you in just a moment. Onward! This is the first field study where we're all going on the same train together. Passenger service bound for Heimdall, now arriving on Platform 2. We ask all passengers wishing to board, please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. Wow, that voice just slowly graded over time. Huh? I'd say we timed that pretty well. <laughs> Impeccable timing. True. Hmm. It seems there's a two-woman cold front blowing your way. Well, don't worry about us. We'll see what we can do to thaw them out. Yeah, just don't expect them to be weaving each other flower crowns when we get back, okay? Alright, 
We'll leave them to you then. Good luck. Sandwiches really hit the spot. Ham, lettuce, and cheese, and I'm getting a hint of pickle in there too. <laughs> the ingredients are simple enough, but the way they come together is something special. Even the butter tastes different from what I'm used to. And this tea is equally perfect. The zest of the lemon complements the tasty or the taste per the tasty the taste perfectly. You have quite the maid looking after you. Well, mother hired her, not me. She's a talented maid, though. I won't deny that. She handles the typical housework and greeting guests, as you would expect, but she also manages mother's schedule. Wow! Managing the company chairman's schedule doesn't really sound like part of the typical maid's job description. She really is the ta that talented, though. Which is why I can't work out why my mother sent her to look after me. Those two are up to something. I just know it. Regardless, there are definitely perks to having her around. I think you should accept your mother's kindness. I agree. She must have started working before sunrise to prepare all of this for us. I know, I know. Anyway, look at the uh, look at those two. So we're headed to uh, Bryona, I Bryonia, Bryonia Islands this time. All I know that it uh, that it is that it uh, freaking ah. All I know that it is uh, that it hosts. I feel like that's a typo. It hosts uh, some sort of ancient ruins. I'm not certain what to expect. Come to think of it. This will be the first time I've had a chance to see the ocean. What about you two? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I've never seen it either. I have. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. During a landing operation in the core. Uh. Oh, speaking of ruins, uh, Le Graham has some fairly well-known ruins, doesn't it, Laura? Oh, yeah. The Saint's Castle or something like that. You must be referring to Lahangrim from Castle. <laughs> Some of these words, man. Lahangrim Castle. It's a magnificent stronghold that faces uh, out onto the lake. You can see it from the town itself. It's quite beautiful on the days when the mist clears. Oh, wow. It sounds like a sight worth seeing. Hmm. Seems like you'd be in trouble if a skilled sniper set herself up there. Mm. Doesn't sound like they're getting along very well. Huh. I feared as much. Uh, I doubt Fee's doing it on purpose. Laura seemed uncharacteristically offended by it, too. Yeah, she's usually so composed, but something about Fee seems to get under her skin. Maybe it's the fact that she's a Jaeger? Does Laura's family and the Jaegers not have a very good, uh, or, uh, relationship? That's what I was thinking of. Made our way to Heimdall. Don't think we'll be staying here for much longer.
It never ceases to amaze me just how big Heimdall Station is. I've heard it said, uh, that it's not merely the largest station in Erbonia, but on the entire continent. I'm unaware of another station that can match the ten tracks uh, found here. When I first transferred lines here, on the way to Trista, the amount of people I saw really threw me for a loop. But it's not surprising that there aren't so ma or aren't as many folks around this early in the morning. Sorry, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. But hang on, you can't give up already. <laughs> How hopeless. Well, don't worry about it too much. The most important thing is that we all come back safe and sound. Everything else is secondary. I suppose you're right. We'll try to keep things from getting too dangerous, at least. Uh, um. Anyway, this is where we split up. If you're traveling towards Orbis, you'll be heading west, right? Indeed. Meanwhile, Group A will need to travel northeast to Ruhr, to Ruhr first. I'm so jealous you get to visit Gaius's homeland. You better tell us all about it when you get back. Will do. Take care, everyone. Fee, Laura, you both take care, too. Um, well, see you all next week. Quiet. Mm-hmm. That is, if either of them are alive by next week. What? <gasps> Is something on your mind, Elise? It's his sister! Has some rugged, handsome young man caught your eye? Like your brother, perhaps? Please, your highness. Oh, damn. Hmm, I just thought I saw someone I recognized. But it couldn't possibly have been him. I can't imagine what would bring him to the capital this early in the morning. Someone you recognized? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> but I knew you wouldn't deny it. That your brother is handsome, I mean. <laughs> Please. <sighs> I knew that I shouldn't have told you about him. Oh, come now, I'm only teasing. There's no need to sulk. I'll give you a little something from Mariage Cross to make up for it. But, but that's an adult lingerie brand. <laughs> Please excuse us, Captain Claire. Claire returns. I'm sorry. I hope I haven't sullied your ears with our scandalous conversation. <laughs> Not at all, Your Highness. I came to inform you that the special train to the Imperial Villa will be arriving shortly. I look forward to accompanying you today. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure to have you with us. Certainly. Alright, let me tell you a bit more about the North Highlands. The North Highlands are a mountainous region to the northeast of Erebonia. To get there, we'll need to cross the uh, Isengard line, or Range. That's a mountain range to the north of Ruhr. I'm guessing we'll need to pass through quite a few tunnels to get to the other side. Pretty much. I went through several when I uh, was originally traveling to Trista. Anyway. When you reach the other side, you'll be in the North Highlands, surrounded on every side by mountains. Other than the Imperial Army's bases, the only place you'll find people is uh, in uh, nomadic settlements, like the one I'm from. If anything, we have more sh uh, sheep than people. Wow, really? I'm starting to feel like we're traveling to a country locked in time or something. <laughs> 
It sounds like a scene right out of a picture book. In addition to the scenery, the North Highlands are also well known for their breeding and raising of horses. Those are the war horses used by the Imperial Army. Imperial Army. I said that wrong. Are descended from or descended from Highland stock. That's true. Horses are essential to the livelihood of uh, hoods of the folks in my village. Raising horses to be used by the Erbonians. Erbonians. Freaking whatever. Erbonians is one of my people's primary sources of income. Come to think of it, it I seem to remember hearing that the horses we have at home was raised in Nord too. Isn't that also true of the horses the riding club uses? Correct. All of them originally came from Nord. Even the golden stallion on the uh, Empire's emblem is said to depict a war horse raised in the Highlands. Or so the story goes, at least. Nord has steep historical ties to the Empire. We know. I just kicked the desk. We know today that it's uh, where Empire Emperor Dracul's first started building his army. After all, that's right. The Imperial Army still maintains a base on the uh, southern edge of the Highlands, Zindergate. That's as the north, uh, as far north as the trains can take us. I see. We should arrive there somewhere around four in the afternoon. Then, yeah. But it's just past 8 a.m. now. We should reach Ruhr Station in, uh, by midday. After that, we have another four or so hours on the uh, freight train to Nord. Uh, looks like we're in it for the long haul. Still, we won't get chance uh, chances like this often, so let's try to make the most of it. Ooh, who do I talk with? Elisa first. Not too much longer now. I guess it'll be your first time back home since you started outdoors, right? Does it feel a little awkward going back after you ran away from home? A little, yeah. At least, we're only changing trains there, so I don't have to leave the station. I haven't seen, uh, been in Ruhr since I switched lines there on the way to Trista. Oh, right. I almost forgot. If you came from uh, Ymir, you had to have gone through Ruhr. I visited Ymir once when I was a kid, but I haven't been there since. I remember it being a ni or, or a really nice place, though. The scenery was so beautiful. Oh, didn't know you had actually been. Yeah, it really is beautiful. A place that nice doesn't really fit a guy like me. Huh. <laughs> Are you still sulking over that, uh, what that twit said during our last practical exam? Pay the house of Hiram's little mind, and they're full of a third son even less. I don't think he means, uh, he meant most of those awful things he said. Yeah, it seemed like his anger just got the better of him. I'll bet he regretted it later. And regardless of what he thinks, we all think you're a swell guy. As a classmate and as a friend, so don't be as hard, don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, I, thanks guys, it means a lot to hear you say that. <laughs> You're so hopeless sometimes, Reen. Met us, talk to Emma next. It's easy to forget, but in traveling to the North Highlands, we'll actually be leaving the country. <laughs> it feels strange heading out beyond our. Uh, borders. A little emotional, even. Yeah. We've got a long journey ahead of us. I can only wonder what kinds of things they'll, uh, have us doing, uh, when we get there. I can't even begin to imagine. Each month seems to throw something new at us. I am a little worried about how Fia is holding up, though. Yeah, there's definitely something going on between her and Laura. But I'm not sure there's anything to, uh, we can do about that. I'm sure Elliot and Machias will keep an eye on those two for us. We've got our own battles to face. I'd like us, well, uh, us all to come back from this trip in one piece. You're right, of course. Uses? 
The horses of the Nord Highlands are known for being uh, some of the finest in the continent. With their solid uh, builds, high endurance, and steadfast loyalty to their masters, they truly are the ideal steeds. The Highlands are far f uh, from the only place that raises horses, <laughs> but the horses from Nord are in a class all their own. Sounds like you couldn't find a better horse if you search across the Empire. Though, now I can see why Arthur is such an impressive specimen. Who? Oh, Arthur's the horse we have back at home. My dad would often ride him out hunting with our old dog, but oh. Back when I was a kid, he'd lift me up on his back and let me ride along. I see. This will be an excellent opportunity to learn more about how the Empire's finest horses are raised right at the source. Wow, he seems like he's really into this. And Gaius. Well, here's a sight for sore eyes. I haven't soaked in scenery like this since I first came to Trista. <laughs> I hope everyone in the settlement is doing well. He seems happy to be headed home. I've always been curious. How did you end up coming to Thor's anyway? Well, about a year ago, I met a general in the Empire's ar or Imperial Army uh, up in Nord. One thing led to another, and he ended up giving me a recommendation to attend the academy. He was strangely ad uh, adamant that my skills with a spear would come in handy during my time at Thor's. Guess he was right. I could see why an Imperial General might take interest in your uh, spearmanship. Our cavalry's la uh, lance and spear training has its origins not just in the tales of the Eisenritter, all right, but in the traditions of the Highlands as well. Oh, that's pretty interesting. It's just recently that I've been learning how far back the connections between Nord and Erebonia go. Indeed. And let's play a game of Blade with Gaius. I haven't played one with Shall you guys before. Go ahead and draw. Okay. You should go first then. Sweet. I play. Uh, number two. Huh. It seems we need to draw again. Sweet. Huh. It seems we need to draw again. Shit. Huh. It seems Shit. We need to draw again. <laughs> hmm. You should go first then. Thank you. Uh, you have huh. well played. Nine or six. Oh, bolt. Damn. Um, I'm going for a three and a bolt. <laughs> well done. Let's go for this. It seems the winds were on my side. Whoa. Okay. Cool. Bond strengthened. Okay, I'm gonna save. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna save here. Oh, I should've saved all the way over there. Uh, I'll do that then. Do I get to delete data? <gasps> I can. Ah. There we go. All fixed. Okay. I'm going to end the episode. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, please press the little subscribe button. It helps all out. And if you like this video specifically, please like and share this video. Next time, we're going to continue with our uh, trip to the North Highlands and see exactly what uh, they have in store for us. So, I'm actually really excited to see what it looks like. And I might get to ride a horse. All this talking about horse riding makes me think I'm going to get to ride a horse. So. I'll see you then. Keep watching. Goodbye.